Is it all about looks or all about rules? Rockland City officials are at odds now with a gun store after the owner made a brash security move, putting up barriers. I don't care what they have to say. I'm not taking them down. I'm not moving them. There have been a string of smash and grab burglaries at Rockland gun stores. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. The situation had us wondering is this gun store barrier battle all about looks? CBS 13's Drew Balea is live in Rockland tonight getting answers. Drew? Well, Sam, Christina, Rockland City officials gave us these images of acceptable security crash barriers. Some of them are stone, others are planters. But one thing on this list that you won't see are things like this huge concrete barriers that the city police chief says are creating a bad image. It's a scary thought. Guns in the wrong hands. And criminals don't steal guns to collect them. They steal them to go commit other crimes, violent crimes. More than 100 guns were taken from the gun vault after crooks used a car to break through the front door. The Rockland Armory also had one weapon taken in a similar smash and grab. We're the only store in Rockland that has not been hit. Nothing Sacramento Black Rifle owner job. Rob Adams didn't want his shop to be next. We took it upon ourselves to put these barriers here to keep the guns out of the hands of the criminals. Three K rails placed around the storefront. At about 8,000 pounds each, they're typically used for lining construction zones on highways. There are written standards and guidelines and also a planning commission that oversees. The city's concern? Parking space sizes and the overall look. And I understand the emotional reaction to go plop down a cement barrier in front of your gun store to prevent this type of crime, but it sends the wrong message. I don't care what they have to say. I'm not taking them down. I'm not moving them. The K rails don't impose on the sidewalks, and Adam says the landlord hasn't complained. Because they're not aesthetically pleasing to them, they want me to do something else. I'm not going to do it. The aesthetics of a community are very important because the, the citizens who live here need to feel like this is their home. Other gun stores are taking steps within the guidelines. Since being broken into, the gun vaults spent thousands to install approved barricades. Adam says he's already spent more than 30 grand on a 42 camera security system. The K rails are a free security blanket. Well, I'm being proactive, they're being reactive. Now, the back and forth battle may end in February. Adam says that's when the lease at this Rockland location will come to an end. He's currently building another location in Citrus Heights, and he says he might move the entire operation there. All right, Drew, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Rockland with that.